Hey guys, Moan Pober here and today I'm going to share some more lessons I got from going to the castle, learning with Dan Pena and learning from him in general over the last few years. This is part 6 of those Peniaism. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to continue for as long as I got some things I can, I can help you with. So yeah, let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Moan Pober and I'm basically buying businesses over the last few years. This is what I'm doing full time. I'm basically following the QLA method. I'm doing mostly things by acquisitions. I know many people who start to learn from Dan Penny and they're mostly taking the mindset stuff and the mindset stuff is amazing, but I'm just frustrated to, to see people who learn about this process of buying businesses and they never get into it because in my opinion, people are too overwhelmed, too scared, too uncertain they're not connecting the dots enough they don't know the small nuances of going out there learning about the space of buying businesses and they always feel like they're missing the small steps in the process i do agree uh, with the fact that buying businesses is a very simple but not easy process uh, it's uh, basically that's what dan is saying all the time is the fact that it's very simple a b c do this do that but then people are scared to take action but th because in the process of buying businesses there are very small nuances and i'm still till this day learning new things in every deal that i'm working on every deal is different every deal you have different surprises different challenges and I'm here to share with you my experience, my journey, and just documenting what I'm doing. I, I have my agenda. I know that the more I'll help you for free, you'll see like, oh my God, this is awesome support that I'm getting. I want to work with this guy. I want to do deals with him. And that's what me and my team are doing. We there, we are out there looking to buy more businesses. We don't want to sell you education. I can give you all the education for free on how to do those things. But I know that no matter what content you have or what education you have or what knowledge you have, it's not enough. You need the accountability and ideally if you want to move fast you want a team like i have that can open doors to you so yeah if you want to learn more about that um just subscribe to the channel like the video and hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos and see in the description below there's also a link where you can basically send me your ideas for topics for those videos because i'm trying to post daily so you put your details there and then you send me your biggest question and i'm creating the videos based on that and there's also a link where you can join our free business buying mastermind it's a free group on facebook with amazing people who are into the space of buying businesses and they're always sharing stuff about their progress in the journey so definitely do that but for now let's get to today's topic now remember all of the lessons that i'm basically working on are all dan penny stuff right it's all his content you can find his content if you just google uh, just literally google dan penny and dan lock and everything is on his website like literally everything you have on the castle is there as well it's just a matter of you watching everything if you want or if you want to basically get the lessons that i got from the castle and from learning from him i'm going to really expand on his titles based on my experience over the last few years and i want to start with this lesson and i'll, I'll quote him which is saying you won't always have all the answers only take seriously the advice of others whom you greatly respect so let's dive into it on what that means in the perspective of someone who's looking to buy businesses, right? I want to tell you some of the things that I learned in my journey and let's, let's start with the first lessons. So to begin with, I think that the first lesson here is basically that you need to accept the fact that you don't know anything. I mean, in any space, especially if it's the first business you're looking to buy, you probably don't know everything. So remove your ego and really be open to the idea that you can go out there and find someone who already did it. And I mean, I mean, I think that the best thing you can do to shorten your learning curve in life is to go and find someone who was in your shoes, who had the same challenges, and he can literally point to whatever you're doing and tell you, hey, I had this challenge. All you need to do now is change, adjust your actions a little bit left, and then you'll find your way to success. What I found out with people, especially in this space of buying businesses, because they have existing business, maybe it's even a successful one, they think like they know everything and they think like they can figure it out. And yes, maybe you can, but it's going to take you so much time to do that. And in my opinion, for me, it's not about the money that it costs me to find expert advice. It's about the money that it costs me not to get that advice. Because I know that every month that goes by and I'm not progressing towards my goals and I'm not buying another business and growing another business, then I'm losing so much money especially in this space where we're looking to buy multi-million dollar business, businesses. I mean, every deal that you're not doing this month, like if you're watching my content for a month now, if you're watching Dan Penny content for more than a few months now and you didn't close the deal, you pretty much spent millions of dollars that you could have made if you paid to the right expert, if you worked with the right expert. So remove your ego and be okay with learning from someone else. 
Now, when I'm saying be okay with getting advice, it's, it means like be okay with giving equity, even if it means giving most of the equity in your first deals just to get the experience. Do whatever it takes. Like even like me, I don't think like I know everything. I'm in this space for a few years and I still learn again and again. I pay more mentors and I, I still meet every week with people in this space who are in private equity space, in the venture capital space, who maybe are doing a little bit different things to what I'm doing, but they can give me different perspectives. I'm talking all the time with people who take companies public, who do um, different IPOs. And I'm always looking to learn because even if they're doing similar things to what I'm doing, a different perspective sometimes is all you need to literally break through your existing challenges. Now, the second part of the sentence says that you only need to take advice from those you respect. Now, and again, I'm sharing my experience. From my experience, I found out that I don't need to take advice or work with more than two or three people. And by that, I mean, I think that you need to have a mentor who is only one or two or maybe three years ahead of you. You need another mentor who ideally is 20, 30 years ahead of you. And you want a third person who ideally is on the same path as you. Now, the reason for that is that the person who is like 20, 30 years ahead of you, and that's why I'm still watching Dan Penny and stuff, is because he can give you a perspective of someone who's been there and have literally the mindset and, and the, the view on things in, in the perfect way possible. Like he simplified everything to the just the nitty gritty, the only things that you need, the minimal things that you need in order to achieve your result. So when you learn from that person who's 20, 30 years ahead of you, you get the, in my opinion, it's more about the vibe that you get from those things and the mindset and the attitude that you get towards your goals. That's why I'm still listening to Dan Penny's stuff. I'm still watching his stuff. I think that every day that goes by, every year that goes by, I'm going back to his content and I feel like things are connect I'm connecting the dots a little bit more and it's not about learning more it's more about simplifying things more to just the basic things that you need in order to get those results so that's the first type of person I think you need to work with the second type of person I think you need to work with is someone who's like only one two or three years ahead of you now the reason for that is because there are so many little small things that involved in the process of doing deals that are and this space is always changing especially nowadays with technology like the ways that dan penya used to find deals isn't going to work the same now i mean he used to do something and he's talking about it a lot he used to go basically knock door to door or send letters or things like that things that maybe worked in the past and some of them could still work now but there are so much better and efficient way to do things in this stage with technology with social media with advertising that it's just a waste to go based on strategies that used to work 20, 30 years ago. That's why I think having a mentor who's only a year or two ahead of you could really give you the little nuances in the process of buying businesses. If it means that he knows exactly what to tell you to use social media to find deals, he can know exactly what to tell you to use maybe online events or webinars or funnels or things like that that didn't work in the past. He can also open doors for you in financial institutions that are very different to what someone did 20, 30 years ago. I mean, it's funny, I even listened to some of Dan Pena stuff and he's talking about big four, big four firms. I think he's talking about, um, I don't remember if it was PwC, who was basically a different company. It used to be uh, Waterhouse Cooper, I think before they did the merger basically with PwC, uh, which now is PwC. And it, it, you're just thinking, if I took the same advice and I would go and look for that company, that company is, is isn't existing anymore. It's a different company with different people. That's why having a mentor who's only two, three years ahead of you can open doors for the people he worked with maybe two months ago. Like if you work with my team, we can give you access to financial institutions um, literally in a second. I can send emails to so many financial institutions and get proposals for financing uh, in a matter of a day or two, just because I know the people. People who maybe Dan Pena or anyone who worked 20, 30 years ago don't have the access to right now. First of all, because they're not active doing deals right now. And secondly, because literally there are different companies involved. I'm talking about financial institutions, like I'm talking about um, accountants, lawyers. And even for me right now, when I'm talking to financial institutions, the agents that I'm talking to are changing all the time. Like agents that I talked to a year ago are not working with those institutions anymore. And unless I was basically involved with him on a regular basis, he wouldn't send me the details of his new, the new person. So I would need to build a relationship again and again. And that's why we can open so many doors for you because we're just 
Uh, first of all, we're just active doing deals and I'm personally maybe just a few months ahead of you and I can show you the little nuances that you might miss if you just work based on beliefs and attitudes and skills that worked 20, 30 years ago. So I hope that makes sense. Now, along that, I think it's always good to have someone who's on the same path as you, who's trying to do those things at the same time. It just, first of all, for accountability. And I think it's, it's good to have a little bit of competitiveness with someone who's trying to achieve the same. So if you're starting this process with a friend and he's like, did his first deal after one month and you didn't do your first deal yet, you're going to hustle and compete just to try and do the deal, uh, the deal as well because your friend did it, you want to do as well. And he's going to give you a perspective from someone who's doing things at your level. So even if you're learning from the same mentor, uh, and that's why, again, I'm not afraid to pitch my partner program because I'm probably ahead of you maybe a few months or a few years. And we have Carl L and my partner is probably ahead of you 10 or 20 years. And we have the combination of those two mentors and partners. And me and Carl, we're actively doing deals right now. So you have the attitude and mindset and skills of someone who's pretty new to it, which is me. And you have Carl who's into it for many, many years now. And we have a team basically we have a mastermind where you can join in our group of partners people who are on the same journey as you so you can basically start the process with someone who's starting like you and if you'll see i know that personally that's what i would feel if you see someone who start at the same time with you and he already did the first deal after a few weeks or a few months and you didn't do the deal yet that competitiveness is just so good for you because you see that someone who started just like you did and get those results so there's no reason for you not to get there as well and that's why I think you really need those three different levels. You need a mentor who is ahead of you 10 or 20 years. You need someone who's ahead of you one or three years. And you need someone at your level to compete with and basically get a different perspective from him as well. Now, I think that more than that, you don't need to listen to anyone. Like, so unsubscribe from all your email lists. Unsubscribe, like stop reading books. Literally stop going to any other seminars until you mastered everything you learned from those three type of people. At least, let's say, give yourself a goal. I'm going to pick three different people. One of them is ahead of me one year. One of them is ahead of me one or two years. One of them is on my same level. And for the next 90 days, all I'm going to do is block everything other than those three people. And you'll see your progress is going to be so much better because if you're going to listen to more people, you're just going to be too overwhelmed with too many ideas, too many thoughts, too many skill sets, too many strategies. And when you're too overwhelmed, you're just not going to take any action. And I think the last thing about getting advice is make sure that the people who give you advice and mentorship have the same uh, commitment to achieve the results that you want as you. Because for me, it's very, very frustrating, especially in the world of, of uh, internet marketing. I see so many people who just sell courses and they don't really have the interest to help you be successful in those courses. They sell you the course and they're like, okay, you watch the videos and, and do whatever you want and everything else that happens is up to you. And I don't care if they're offering you refunds or whatever that shit uh, or whatever marketing skill techniques they're, they're, they're doing on you. Um, it's not enough. For me, it's just, it's so frustrating to see people who made a small success in a business model and then they just sell you the education. Now, I'm not saying that personally I'm like this huge successful person. Um, but I think that for me, when we sell access to our partner program, we're not selling you access just to education. We're basically, I'm basically selling you the idea that you can be on the same journey with me. I'm out there looking to do deals. That's where you can really make a lot of money. I can make my fortune and build my empire by having equity in multiple transactions. And I'm basically opening the doors to other people who want to do the same. That's why I'm so... Um, uh, basically on uh, what's the word I'm looking for I'm so uh, free to pitch this program because it's literally something that I would pay a small fortune to have when I started in this journey and I paid a small fortune to learn but I never had all those components I never had someone who's ahead of me one year I never had mentors ahead of me 20 years and someone who's on my same level I never had everything combined and I never had that team to give me the accountability that I need we have the same in, in the partner program we have the same interest to make you successful as we because we know that the more we help you, you're basically going to do those deals with us as partners. We know that you want to use our contacts, our network, our capital, our experience. And we know that the more we'll help you, the more you'll find, the better deals you'll find and the better deals we could do together. So we have the same interest. Our interest isn't just to teach, teach you and, and give you more knowledge. Our interest is to get results, is to trans, make it transformation in your life. 
and make you get to a point where you own a business, a new business that we bought together. So I think it's it's so uh, there, there's so much transparency in the partner program that I'm I'm so um, happy to pitch it because I know that it's it's seriously a, a, the biggest win-win thing out there in the market. I never saw anyone in any industry in any niche who will basically share everything they have in order to basically a mentor who will share everything to find the, the, the same success. It's like I see us as basically a private equity firm who will give you the option to partner with them on deals 50-50. Now that's something that is unheard of. If you go and, go and try to call a few private equity firms out there who are really making doing deals, they'll give you uh, maybe 1% equity for deals that you bring them. We're not only giving you 50% of the deals that you bring, but we also teach you the whole process on how to find those deals and how to then close them and finance those deals. And we bring capital as well when needed, if needed, if the deal makes sense, in order to close those deals. I think it's a no-brainer. That's why I'm so happy to, to talk about it all the time. And again, it brings us back to Dan Pena lesson, which is remove your ego, learn from people, learn from someone who have, is ahead of you many years, learn from someone who's ahead of you just a few years, and make sure you have some kind of a mastermind of people who are at your same level. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you want to learn more about how you can have me and my team help you with those, those things and do those deals, then go to moanpobertoscom forward slash talk and see the details there. Otherwise, see the description below for links to give me ideas and topics for videos. And there's a link to also join our free Business Bind Mastermind on Facebook. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. today. Subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a mentor. And if not, what's the reason that you don't have a mentor? Or a dream team or a chairman or a board. And if you feel like you need someone to be on your dream team, then let me know why you don't want us to be on your dream team. Because we are a team who did more than 300 deals combined. And I think that everyone who's saying no to that is just, um, to be honest, um, is just missing out as in, and it's probably a, an idiot. So talk to me in a few months after you don't do a deal and then come back to my, I mean, I have many people who do that, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I have patience. I don't want you to lose a few more months going out there and, and trying things and, and not making them work. So yeah, I, I hope, um, hope I made my point clear, but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs>